Guys, what is up? I currently have a Hot Round Master Bunch ebook that helped me get to the final four of the Madden Bowl up for sale now. It dropped about two weeks ago and so far has really good viewership and really good praise. Go check it out. The link will be in the bio. Let me know what you guys think, think and feel free to ask any and all types of questions. Thank you very much. What's good, everybody? Oh, snap. Give me one second. That's much better. You already know I had to get my Raiders gear on. And if you know, you know. I'm starting a Raiders steam team for the last couple of months of Madden 20. And, you know, this just fits me perfectly. So, first things first, uh, Madden 20, the theme teams took over. So, that's something definitely Madden 20 got right are these theme teams. You can make any theme team in the game. And I already know um, a bunch of you guys, a lot of the, you know, content creation this year is theme teams. And I know you guys love it. So, you know, I thought, why not? You know, I'm a Raiders representative. Um of the club series and just in general i always represent them in these madden tournaments i won a madden tournament representing them in madden 19 yeah the past two years three years i've been in the club series just representing them and you know i'm a huge fan as big as it gets and um i'm just gonna have a lot of fun and a lot of excitement doing this series i know you guys are gonna love this series i know i have a bunch of raiders subscribers and you know this is just gonna be something i hopefully can lead into madden 20 um i know in madden 20 I already have the best ideas it's going to be kind of starting from scratch the struggle squad but right now we have a really really nice raiders team team and before we get into the video i just wanted to you know say a couple things um i did do this video on tuesday um tuesday what is it tuesday the 23rd of june um and i, I it was a really good video but here's the only thing get your l's ready in the chat give me one sec give me one sec I forgot to record uh, I forgot to hit the unmute button on my mic so I was just sitting there talking basically to a brick wall um, while playing this these Madden games and you know there were some good games but not that's that doesn't change the fact that we're gonna get right back on it today so um, yeah so just put an L in the chat for whatever it may be but you know we're we're, we're gonna be good we're starting it from scratch let's get it and one last thing before we actually get into the gameplay and the you know team building itself i'm just going to talk about you know my team so um i have this sped up uh i don't know exactly how fast it's sped up but it, this this segment took me 40 minutes probably even an hour it cost over 250 to 300 thousand training itself it's it's all worth it though because the raiders steam team as you see me just constructing it and building it with the fastest well, the, the, the fastest thing you could see it go by because otherwise it would have been a whole video in itself um, It's just full of great players. You know, we have great wide receivers Just an overall great team and uh, I know a bunch of you guys are gonna love this series um, This is gonna be a series that I do some challenges in it I do just a whole lot of uh, just random things. I didn't really get to try out this year So one example is you know try running back running back comes out because you know me I never really ran the ball this year Another thing is run the Raiders playbook or run the Raiders defensive playbook. It's just a whole bunch of challenges that you guys could comment and you know whatever you want to see, I will do for sure. Um, just like that, like this video if you want to see more and comment what ideas you got for me. Two hours later. With all that being said and done, here we are, the Raiders Madden 20 theme team. It's a 96 overall. It could be a little higher, but I'm gonna break down each and every position. And why my what my reasoning was for it so let's just start off with the o-line we have colton miller dude was uh he wasn't as great as he could be uh his rookie year but last year he turned it up this year he there's rumors of him being a pro bowler um i'm, I'm excited for colton miller and then we have gene upshaw madden legend he's been in mutt for so many years 98 overall rodney hudson 98 overall center another great beast that we got from the chiefs i want to say four to five years and he's been solid for us ever since you know he's a very loyal raider gabe jackson he's a monster i wish he had a higher overall card i really don't know how but he's a 73 overall trent brown another monster six foot seven i don't even know how much he weighs but you are not getting past him in either the run or the pass game 95 overall a top three tight end and darren waller this guy's a goon i'm gonna get his jersey soon um, I just I just love the way he plays. He's such a physical beast and he's fast. He's so fast for a tight end um, But yeah, he's a 99 overall then we have Jared Cook before there was Darren Waller This was Derek Carr's favorite target for sure. He was a monster for us too. very similar to Darren Waller and his 
um, archetype and like you know how he plays they're both very fast it's just like Jared Cook is a little older Darren Waller is just coming on the scene and Dave Casper the ghost uh, Raider legend Madden legend whatever you want to call him let's go go down to the skill positions now I mean obviously tight ends are skill positions but the real deals my money makers I'm running back we're gonna have Marcus Allen starting backup Bo Jackson 97 overall they both have 97 speed I want to say yes sir I know Bo for a fact has 99 speed with the Raiders chemistries and last but not least I wish he had a higher overall card I don't know how he should have been rookie of the year um, but Josh Jacobs my guy my favorite player as of right now he's a 94 overall with 90 speed EA kind of EA kind of disrespected him with the stats I'm not gonna lie um, he should have first of all had a higher overall card second of all should have had a should have had a power-up card at least but you know it is what it is um i'm definitely going to be dedicating a video to, uh for the raiders teams team to him you know putting cams on him and rocking out but that's for another date at qb we have the two goons dante culpepper 99 overall and Derek carr 93 overall um henry ruggs at 97 overall he has 99 speed He's going to be a burner for us. He's going to be a really great player. Number 11 draft pick. Let's get it. Um, Jerry Rice, 99 overall, 99 speed. All 99s on the board for Jerry Rice. Uh, he was actually really good for the Raiders too. We all know him as a Niner, but he did come to the Raiders towards the end of his career, and he actually balled out for us. We have Amari Cooper, 99 overall. I, I still got love for Amari Cooper. I, I want to see him succeed in Dallas. You know, He was a monster for us. He had some great highlights and some great memories for me. Um, Tyrell Williams, you know, he's a beast too, six foot two. He came over last year. This will be his second year. Um, I definitely expect some good results for them. And before we move on to the defense, we're not forgetting you. Randy Dandy Moss, 99 speed, 99 overall. Just, just look at these stats, man. And there's no other better receiver besides him. Maybe Julio, but hey, he wasn't on the Raiders, at least not yet. Um, hey, Julio, if you're watching this, come to the Raiders, man. One tie for the one tie. But. Six foot four, 99 speed, 99 jumping, 99 catching, 99 catching traffic, 99 spec, 97 short, 94 medium, and 99 deep route running. And then, you know, he has all the necessities you need for a great, great running uh, wide receiver. I almost called him a running back. His elusiveness is nice at 88. Um, his stiff arm is low on I me, mean, but it doesn't matter. He's not going to be stiff arming anyone. He has a 93 juke move rating and an 88 spin move rating, so he barely meets the thresholds, at least for spinning. Um, see me, look for me to spin with him a couple times. Hopefully I don't fumble, you know, enforcer isn't crazy. But yeah, that's Randy Moss, probably the best receiver in the game, at least for his price and his budget. I low-key forgot my guy, Alec Ingold. Uh, he was a rookie last year, really good fullback. He's gonna be good this year too. My fault for, you know, leaving you out, but on to the defense we go. On the defensive side of the ball, we got some straight dogs out here. So the Raiders have always been known for that, their physicality, their speed, and just, you know, um, they're, they're, just, they're, they're, just, they're just monsters, whether it's, you know, just blowing up a run play or just being physical, making hard tackles, or just being fast. The Raiders have always been known for, to be very physical. And let's just start off with the linebacking core. Um, we have Navarro Bowman. He came to the Raiders for, I think, one to two years at the end of his career he honestly wasn't bad um he was actually a really good leader it's just i don't know what happened we weren't able to resign him but he has that 97 speed rating on him after that to hear whitehead fortunately he's not with us anymore uh 93 speed 80 zone 96 hit power a raiders theme builder card um it sucks that he's not with us but we definitely have personnel now as i say that we have corey littleton he doesn't have a Raiders card. Um, they didn't give him an updated card, so it does show him on the Rams. But, you know, we all know he's on the Raiders now, so I had to get him in there. Um, let, right outside linebacker, Ted Hendricks, 97 overall. He's like six foot. Let's see how tall he is. I think six foot seven. Yep. They called him the Stork. Uh, I don't know why, but hey, he's a beast. Uh, besides, under him, we got Vontez Perfect. Just for the Raiders cams, he won't be playing. It's just that he gets Raiders... Uh, team builder cam and then uh, left outside linebacker mike jones 93 speed 86 strength 97 tackle this guy's just an all-around type of you know player just expect him to be you know cpu control as strong safety we have taylor mays hands down the best defensive player in the game at least in my opinion we all have opinions 
That is one of my opinions. And as we see right here, 99 speed. I mean, look at his stats, man. I don't even got to go through it. But the number one thing that Taylor Mays, uh, you know, that makes sets him aside from most defenders besides Calvin and Sean Taylor, it's his six foot three frame and he weighs a good amount. So I'd like to think of, of him as a fast linebacker playing safety. That's how good he is in a Madden 20. But under him, we have Ronnie Lott. He's going to be starting up top for me. Great stats, 99 speed. That's all you pretty much need. And his zone and man are up there too at a 93 man and a 99 zone. Marius Randall, new accu acquisition for the Raiders. Uh, just got him around, you know, free agency time. He's He's been a baller in Madden ever since I can remember. Uh, he's a ball hawk for sure. I hope he brings the same thing to Las Vegas. LaMarcus Joyner, someone we signed two to three years ago. He's been all right. You know, he definitely can step up his game. I'm expecting him to. Rod Woodson. Uh, this Rod Woodson, is, he was a great player. He just played all around. Uh, Raiders, we, he was for the Ra on the Raiders too. He was really good for the Raiders. So he has that Raiders theme came on. Wish he had Raiders jerseys on, but hey, this will do. Willie Brown, Raider legend. Uh, rest in peace, Willie Brown. Howie Long at a 98 overall. Max Crosby at an 88 overall. Really good player, Max Crosby. He's going to be balling out next year. Warren Sapp, we all know how good he is. Malik Collins, free agency signing. John Henderson, 99 overall DT. He's going to be stopping the run by himself. Mo Hurst, 93 overall. And, oh man. Insert, insert crying meme. Uh, my dude, Khalil Mack. I'm still not over it, over it, man. If you know me, if you know a little bit about me, I'm a huge Khalil Mack fan, especially when he was on the Raiders. My man was so, so good for us. Um, it's, it is what it is now. You know, shout out to Bears. They got a great player, but we got two great players back for him. And one was Josh Jacobs, so it's definitely worth it. But uh, my PSN before used to be Khalil Mack. That's how much of a fan I was of Cleo Mack. Uh, still a very big fan of him. He's a, he'll always have a place in my heart. That's my guy right there. Cleo Mack at a 95 overall at left end. He's a 99 overall at his normal position of out, left outside linebacker. Then we have Cleland Farrell, uh, number four draft pick last year. He's going to ball out this year. I already know it. Namdi Asamoa. If you're a Raiders fan, you know how good Namdi Asamoa is. 99 speed, 6 foot 3. He's going to be making a bunch of plays for me. And last but not least, we have Night Train Lane and Byron Jones. They didn't play for the Raiders, but they get Raiders team camp. But trust me, they're not going to be playing for me. Trust me, I won't. I'm going to treat this as a real Raiders team team. And then last but not least, uh, the punter and kicker, 95 overall Ray Guy, 87 overall Daniel Carlson. We've got rugs at a kick return, punt return. And last but not least, I keep saying this, but... Here are the Raiders chemistries, jerseys, and the playbook I'm going to be rocking. I'm going to be in that West Coast offense, that Hot Route Master Bunch with Dante Culpepper. If you want that ebook, go purchase it. The link will be in the description. Help me get to the final four. Yes, final four of the Madden Bowl. Dolphins defense. You already know the vibes. Dolphins defense has been a playbook I've been rocking out all year long. And finally, Coach P. <laughs> Oh man, if you guys don't know by now, I'm a coach in the game. I got introduced at the beginning of this year of Madden 20 because I won the belt in Madden 19. And then I got an extra coach for being like a club series. You know, they do it by tournament. So they had four classic representatives, four, uh, more than four club series representatives. So I got two coaches in this game that, this year. It's, it's been lit, man. It's been a dream come true. I hope next year I'm a coach again. Coach P in the cut. Okay. And this is what you guys always want to see the abilities the x factors let's get to them i'm gonna have double me on jerry rice streak specialist on him post flag elite slotomatic and playmaker he's a 99 overall gold emblem so he gets those four ability slots and he's gonna be playing my slot you notice i have slotomatic on him he's gonna be playing that important slot position in the gun bunch next is dante culpepper you already know this guy was a goon man uh and just this guy is one of the original gunslingers like he had a cannon on him him brett Favre, players i truly remember just from highlights and all that you know i was young when they were playing um but i'm gonna have bazooka on him so if i got bazooka i'm letting that thing fly uh, i got conductor two extra hot rods conductor is so nice hot rod master protected and gunslinger and last but not least 
Randy Moss, that Moss 100, the go get him, I basically call it. Go ag on the team. <laughs> Moss 100 is definitely a little broken in this game, but definitely I'm going to be using it um, here and there. Uh, I have Moss 100, Streak Specialist, Playmaker, Post Flag Elite, and Cross Specialist. So he's going to be pulling the outside bunch or the solo receiver bunch. And I, you notice I have two playmakers. Um, I'm really good with the playmaker cam, and I feel like you guys could get good with that too. A card I didn't really get to show you guys is this Dante Culpepper. And I, I don't know how um, this is gonna make the videos a little more challenging. He has 92 speed, but he doesn't get escape artists. Obviously I know how it's an archetype, but how do you have 92 speed and you can't even escape the pocket? You don't have the artist of escape. It's the art of escape. I mean, it's crazy, uh, but I was definitely gonna be a challenge for me. I'm really not that great without escape artists, but hey, this is something I could work on for next year, the year next after that, because who knows, the meta changes all the time. Um, this is gonna be fun for you guys to watch how I pocket dot. Can you pocket dot? Can Pavin pocket dot? Watch the video and find out. And now for the defensive side of the ball, my personal favorite side I like to play. Here's our chem chemistry's abilities, X factors. We're gonna have shutdown on Ronnie Lott. Lurker, we all know how a good Lurker is, man. I pray Lurker is toned down a little bit next year. Universal coverage, tackle supreme, and enforcer. He's gonna be playing up top. He's gonna be CPU controlled. I mean, I'll get on him a couple times and use her around with him. Um, but for the most part, I'm gonna be on this man right here. Like I said, the best player in the game, Taylor Mays. He has that shutdown, he has that secure tackler. He has that Lurker, Enforcer, and here's something that a lot of you guys don't notice or don't usually use. I'm out my way on him. So that pretty much means I'm going to be usering him every play, regardless if it's a run or a pass. If it is a run, I'm going get, to be getting in those gaps, be disrupting the run without out my way ability. And finally, the big boy himself, Warren Sapp. This dude is a monster. I wish he was a 99 overall so he could get four ability slots, but... Three will do. Secure tackler, pass rush elite, inside stuff. So he's going to be able to play the pass and the run. You already know we're going to have to change our team name uh, to the Raiders, man. I mean, I could add Raiders theme team, but Raiders is authentic. That's what we're going to change our name to. Before we get into the games themselves, look at that record, man. 53, 5, 3, and 1. One loss. We're on a 29 game winning streak. Let's see how long we can obtain our winning streak for. We do stream all the time on uh, Twitch. If you want to follow my Twitch, link will be in the description, but you can follow it right here. Twitch.tv backslash Um, I, Like I said, 29 game win streak. I'm pretty much play my, all the time on Twitch. If you want to come through, come through, hit that sub, hit that follow button. Just, just say what's up to your boy. After finally searching for a match, we're gonna match up with Bips Ahoy 30. And he's in a Super Bowl. So we saw you had Lamar Jackson, Troy Polamalu. I didn't get to peep who his last card was, probably like Walter Payton or someone, but I feel like every time I play Mutt Head to Head nowadays, I'm playing someone in their Super Bowl. And uh, you know, I, I assume when I get to all Madden tier and it'll be different, but for now, let's pop this guy in the Super Bowl. So he's gonna be getting the ball at his own 25, and let's set up our depth chart. He is right away running that single back eight, the wing pair. Um, I think we're good with our personnel. I'm gonna put Bowman in on this right side, user Taylor Mays, of course. And yeah, the personnel looks okay to me. Hopefully Demarius Randall holds his own in this. Oh, and of course he got Moss. So uh, he's gonna go up top, you know, the counteract this Moss. We gotta send everyone. Hopefully it works, hopefully it works. I mean, I'm gonna be coming in with my user hot. And if he, if he passes, I'll take anything besides the ag right here. You know, if you dot me, you dot me. Bo Jackson. And he decided to send too many people out. I sent literally eight people right there. He's going to be run, trying to run this Miami playbook, uh, split close. We all know how good split close was this year. And it kind of died down after the 3-4 the bear blitzes and all these type of pressures. That's the only really thing that does give, excuse me, I can't talk. It's the only thing that gives split close trouble as we get another sack. It's third and 27 now. And once again, we're going to be coming out in this bear. I don't think he'll be able to pick this up. Just pretty much I'm going to back everybody up. I try to back everyone up. Oh, that's fine. We'll take a big hit stick by Ronnie Law. Surprisingly, he's going to punt. Um, <laughs> I, I, every time I play mud, these guys just no huddle, rage no huddle, and go for it. But I, I, it is understandable. It's the first possession of the game, and it is his Super Bowl. He's going to be treating it like an MCS championship game, if you know what I mean. All right, for our offensive personnel, we're going to have Randy Moss out wide, Jerry Rice in the slot, and I'm going to I'm gonna put Henry Ruggs in. That's my guy. That's a new acquisition. 
Uh, Darren Waller at tight end, and I'm gonna have Bo Jackson uh, toe in the pill, as they like to say. I forgot we have Moss. I'm gonna try to go up top. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get it out. Got one second left. Yeah, delay a game. It's all good, it's all good. And Randy Moss still has his Moss 100. Call me a cheeser. Spam the comments, because we're going deep. Um, it's either gonna be a playmaker dot or we're just gonna ag you, ag your life away. And we'll just hit that playmaker dot to Jerry Rice. Hit a spin move. All right, go down. That's getting scary. <laughs> As you guys can see, first play, you can't really spin around or do anything like that. Fortunately, if you're, fortunately enough for me, I was not, I did not fumble with that big enforcer hit stick. But Jerry Rice is tired, so I'm just gonna run sweep right here. He's in this three four odd once again. He does have three. Uh, I'd, I'd say secondary positions because honestly, Troy Polamalu, he does play linebacker, but he is a freaking a cornerback as we're out of there. Not cornerback, but safety. Good stuff by Bo Jackson. I like what I saw out of that run play. So we're going to get in far tight right here. Far tight slot and see if he can stop it. It's a formation that a lot of people don't know have or have any clue how to stop. Um, I did not want to get it to Casper. I thought that was Bo Jackson there. It's all good. We... We only we didn't gain any yards, but we didn't lose any yards. Important. Once again, coming out in this far, but I'm gonna uh, audible over to strong close. I'm just gonna have two posts right here, and it's a nice, unique route combo. If I get the ball out, it'll be a dot. If I get time, I'll be a dot. And there's a dot. Psych. I got sacked by Chase Young, even though I have protected. For whatever reason, he's pausing. I don't know if he's trying to send a message or what it what it may be. My man's just pausing, trying to send me a statement. Two hours later. Yeah, I'm still here, still waiting for the for my goddamn pause. The timer is gonna run out eventually, so yep, there it goes. I'm in bunch now. I'm gonna try to get this first down. It might be a little hard. I do have conductor, so let's see if I can make something happen. I'm gonna try to hit a rollout right here. Henry Ruggs on that dot. Let's go. What a throw by Cole Pepper. What a catch by Ruggs. Don't need Dash of Dead after that. I'm gonna run a sweep right here. Um, this person now should not be able to stop this, but who knows? And of course, Ronnie Lott just comes out of nowhere, right? Uh, I had the sweep, probably could have bounced outside, but my sweeps this year, my sweep play calling, uh, out of that halfback sweep, it hasn't really been that good. Right here, I'm gonna be looking for Waller on this post. Hopefully, it's there. If it's not there, I'm gonna have either Jerry Rice or Randy Moss on this little hitch. Let's see what we got. Uh, we're gonna have no one, but good set. Oh my God, pick it up. Good stuff by Culpepper to pick it up. I swear, I can't understand her pass. I just get shedded every time. Maybe it has something to do with me having a 63 overall right guard. Not 63, 79. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm flabbergasted. This guy just sent the, the absolute goons at me and Chase Young has his second sack, but if he's running cover three right here, we're gonna have verticals for a touchdown. Come on, Randy. Oh, epic fail right there. Not for six, not like this. Oh, that's a play, awful play. I mean, it, and to be fair, it was open, but I was just too far away. He's going to be up 7-0 with that. All right, we're going to be getting the ball with Rod Woodson. Do not fumble by any means, please, Rod. If we fumble, this game is going to be cooked. I'm going to have to call a timeout because uh, my players are gassed. Every time I go in strong close or whatever formation it may be, I just get sacked, so I'm just going to... Run what I know how to run. Um, I do know how to run strong, but it's just I don't know. I'm getting shedded, man. I'm getting shedded. That ain't cool. Oh, that was a risky pass. I had to get it out. This dude Chase Young is absolutely shedding Gabe Jackson. That may be an issue in the near future. He's in this three-four odd. It looks like he's sending heat. He's gonna be a user in Palomalu, so I'm gonna hit this little playmaker dot right here. Fall down. Get your yards. Move on to the next play. I'm running mesh post right here, a uh, unique route combo that a lot of people haven't really seen this year. I hope it works, to be fair, um, but anything can happen. He has his lurker around. Let's see what we got. And we're going to have Darren Waller on that corner route. I wish I got a better rack animation. I try to rack it up field, but we'll definitely take that. And then on that last play, to me, it seemed like he ran some type of match. Um, Ronnie Lott matched on. And are we going to be able to break this sweep out? No, of course we're not because Pavin isn't allowed to run the ball. Say it with me, chat. Pavin isn't allowed to run the ball. Um, we got to get ours by dotting. And that ain't no problem. Let's get it. We're going to motion over uh, Jerry Rice right here. Pretty good route combo. Looking for the post or the corner route. And we're going to have that post. 
Good stuff, Waller. Waller's is easily becoming one of my favorite players on this Raiders team team. Right there, once again, he ran cover four match. Uh, I'm just cooking it up alive. Cooking him apart, taking him apart, whatever you want to say. Picking his defense apart. And this is what we're going to do with Bo Jackson. Bo knows. Not versus Enforcer, though. He does not know Enforcer. He does not know Enforcer, I repeat. He is already on orange. We're going to get in this heavy, heavy package near Jumbo. Hand the ball off to Alec Ingle. Let's see what we got. I'm going to put Casper in motion just for a lead blocker. Set, call hike right there. Let's go, Ingle. Fight one more time. We're on the one yard line. We're going to let this go to the two minute warning. Once again, the same play call. It should work this time. Casper in motion. Call hike right there. And there it is. Alec Ingle, baby. Kicking this PAT. Assuming it goes right. No blocks. Perfect kick. Tie game 7 7. I'm not going to lie. These drives are definitely taking a little bit longer. Um, considerably. Consider. Real, I can't even talk right now. They're taking uh, significantly longer than usual um, compared to when I do have escape artists, and that's just to expect. When I have escape artists, I'm just rolling out throwing corners. I've got a pocket pass right here. Sometimes I'm getting shedded even with that protected. I don't know how good it is. I just know it's like if it's supposed to do what it says, it's gonna. It should be the best ability, one of the better abilities in the game. I'm just not working to the full extent that it should be. As Navarro Bowman comes in free. He tried running that power row out of split close. No, no, no. Once again in the split close. He's trying to make some plays happen. I feel like I'm going to lurk him right here. I'm going to get lurky right here. I'm going to uh, act like I'm using something. And boom! What did I call chat? Ronnie Law with his first pick. He's to gone to the Baja. We're stunning on him. See you later, alligator. Ronnie Law just looks like an absolute badass with that number 42. Those long sleeves. Um, I mean, my dude Ronnie Law, man. Just He just looks like a football player. With those big shoulder pads just stunning in the end zone kick is up should be going up 14 7 and yes indeed we are up seven points plus we get ball at half another lock up and this game is over now ronnie does have his x factor uh shutdown activated so you know i mean i'm trying to click on to him right here i wasn't let me it wasn't gonna let me click on but he was almost there to make a play i feel like if he gets that auto hit stick right there it's gonna be a fumble but over here, we don't complain. We don't ask for fumbles. We don't ask for the fluke. We we get our own. We make our own plays, man. He's in this single back wing pair again. Uh, he hasn't really ran the ball. And that's actually a good dot by him. Good stuff by Demarius Randall. And I'm telling you, Ronnie Lott, he's, he's sniffing. He's looking for the play. He's trying to make another play for us. He's, he's thirsty for blood, man. He's trying to hit stick someone right now. Once again, same play. And boom! You thought Ronnie Lott was a beast? Welcome to Taylor Mays. Once again, in this wing pair, this formation isn't really the move. Uh, he's just trying to... He's not... My opponent isn't the greatest of opponents. If we could, if we haven't been able to tell by now, he's just somehow made the Super Bowl. He's just free balling, doing whatever he needs to do, calling random plays. And Warren Sapp, don't mind if I do get an A-gap. Warren Sapp just comes in free on that A-gap right there. And I'm low-key spinning bars right now. I don't know. I'm having some fun in this... In these... Head-to-head -head mutt games. A little too fun if you ask me. Too much fun for a mutt head-to-head -head game. But hey, that's, that's why we play. I'm going to come in with that he again. There's no way this bear is able to pick up my pressure. Uh, I'm going to be all right, man. I'm going to be all right right here. The pressure comes in once again. Taylor May, that's just too easy for my boy. Easy peasy. Come on, make a move. I don't, don't have the stick work yet, but I trust me, I'll get there by the end of the year. He's in, uh, I don't even know what this is. This is some goofball, some goofball formation. We're just going to dink and dunk like we have been. Jerry Rice on that slotomatic out route, or zig route, I should say. If Pat Tillman catches me, I'm going to be mad. Ooh, ankles, ankles. Oh, man, that my man got put on skates right here. I hope he plays it out. I don't know if he's going to play it out. That play lasted a second. He's going to see, oh, he didn't want to play it out. It's all good. He just got put on skates. I wouldn't want to watch that either. That back juke, man, is sneaky. And right there, good defense by him. Ted Hendricks on that pressure. I, to be fair, I had really nobody open. He played the perfect defense. I was going to have that post, but I just I just got pressured, man. He sent the heat. Um, let, let's see if we could cook something up right here. And I think we will be able to. I'm going to have this uh, Henry Ruggs, the third. Easy walk in touchdown. Number 11, draft pick. That dude is going to have a lot of those this year. 
And right here, easy, simple drag. Just walk in the end zone. My man is trying to send the heat, and the heat isn't coming. And that's always a good feeling when you're, you know your opponent sending the blitz. And they're just, even, even if they do send the blitz, you pick it up. Because once you pick it up, everything, and I repeat, everything is open. This is going to be starting out at the 32, but it's a little too late. This is going to be the half. We get ball out. We're going to choose some clock and try to end the game. And that's a sight to see. We have two X factors lit up, two shutdowns. Oh man, imagine if I had my DT activated too. That would just be scary, awfully scary sight. You can have that, my guy. That ain't getting you nothing. Once again in this five wide, I'm just gonna sack you, my guy. It's just gonna sack you, bro. We're gonna have to stop running five wide. And my man don't care. He just just thrown it to a wide receiver screen. Not a bad play call at all, especially since I was blitzing. Um, but that's not gonna do anything for you. I was about to start flipping out. I don't know what happened. I can't call a play right now. I'm trying to pause the game. It shows you I can't pause the game. Hopefully he quit. Hopefully, I don't know, but I can't call a play right now. We'll see what happens. My man's a suspect for sure. I still can't call a play. So I, when I get the ball right here, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna chew clock, man. I don't want nothing fishy happening to me and my win streak of 29 games. And a tactic I like to do, if you're trying to chew clock, just go down at this 10. And if you have a nice play, for example, I have this amazing run play out of far tight slot, the fullback dive. Half the time, my opponents don't know how to blow it up. And if you have Bo Nose Jackson or someone really big and not strong and fast, they're going to just be able to fall forward for a couple yards. My dude does not really care what's going on right now, so I'm going to hit him with a nice pass right here. He's just sending the heat. Hopefully, I'm able to hit it. And there it is. Darren Waller, another reception. We go down. We chew clock. Besides that one blatant read, Culpepper has been on fire. Um, 9 of 10. Just one bad interception. That was mostly because it was a bad read. Um, my man, this is not run deep, but somehow it's just block shedding. Don't you hate that? When you have the, when your opponent is not really doing the right proper thing, but it's just still working for them. That always happens to me. Gonna call hike right here at two seconds just to chew some more clock. And I don't know, maybe my dude does have some run deep, but we're gonna come out in another pass. And. For the most part, he just looks like he's running man. So I'm going to come out in strong close and just do two corner routes. And you know post flag elite, how, how dirty post flag elite is. He's just going to have to guard one of them. And for the most part, this is the play out right here. Um, just pick up the heat and we'll be good. And of course, we just can't pick it up. And my po my players just got jammed. I guess it's because I didn't slide anywhere. That's on me. I should have slid to tight end or somewhere. But it's all good. We're going to punt this ball away with that Ray guy. Kick is off, and this is gonna be a boomer kick. Um, is he gonna return it? Yeah, he's gonna try. Well, oh, back in the end, so I can't complain about that. He's gonna be getting the ball at the 20 yard line. Once again, he's in the single back wing tight. I don't know, my like my players are on fire the whole game, and he's still just throwing blatant reads. My dude is not a good player, but hey, I don't, I'm not I'm not judging him. I always play these games and wonder like, how did this dude make the Super Bowl? Light, like, how did he make the Super Bowl? What's going on out here? Um, that was a good run play. He should have been running way earlier. I mean, he's still trying to make something out of nothing, but for the most part, this game might be cooked. I'm going to spy my safeties right here since this guy wants to just start running, I guess. I'm just going to spy my right safety. Of course, he starts to pass. Good play by him. He's actually making proper reads now. I'm going to have to start adjusting. Coming out in this 3-4 odd, send every one tap look. And it should work. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm just going to use your whitehead. Why not? Send in five people right here. This should be enough to get some pressure home. Good hit by Tahir Whitehead. We'll take it. We'll let you throw your hitch. I don't even know you could put your tight end on a hitch this year. I, You can't even put him on a hitch normally, but maybe he smart routed it. Smart routed a curl, I should say. Right here, I don't know what he's doing. He caught me off guard, but look at the stork. He didn't, unfortunately he wasn't able to make that tackle, but it's all good. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm still in a very, very good position to win. Right here, gonna use your Demarius Randall. And my man is making the right reads. He's gonna be off for a touchdown. Psych, we got him down, but I'm kind of frustrated right now because he's just psyched. 
these are the type of players I dislike to play. They just hit a button. They don't even, like, they're not looking for anyone. They're not looking to make a read. They just hit a button. That's what my dude is doing right now. But I can't blame him. He's trying to come back. He's out, coming out in this edge blitz. Let's try to blow this up one time. Maybe hovering in that gap. Mac can't get off the block. No one could get off the block. He's making this a game. 14-7. 14-21, I should say. Um, let's just try to two clock. I'm going to get back in the bunch next drive. All right, we're back in the bunch. Uh, this should be this should be all right. I mean, we should be in a good spot. I don't think my man could stop us when we're in the bunch. But when we run those other formations for some whatever reason, I just be getting sacked. It's something I got to work on for sure. I'm running this far right here because look how many yards I need. I just need two yards. If I can't get two yards here, I can't get two yards at all. And I think I got the two yards. I mean, it probably might be inches. It is inches. I'm going to run the same thing again. Bear isn't the move. Like, look how much room I have to get a touchdown. It's just I can't get the lucky the lucky blocks. Um, and right there, we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Continue to clock him out. I'm going to get back in the bunch. If we get a couple more dots, this game is cooked. Running verticals right here because he looks like he's in 3-4 bear running man. If he does adjust, then good for him. But he did run man. And boom, Henry Ruggs is going to have a second touchdown. Unless he gets caught, don't get caught. See ya! Let's go, Rugs. Two touchdowns for Rugs. Nice day. Two easy touchdowns in that. Um, he ran man coverage right there. And if you want to play that beats man every single time, at least man with no deep zones or nothing on that side. Verticals is your play. He run man and he had no deep zone. Even if he had a deep zone, it would have been open. It would have been probably not a touchdown, but definitely a bigger gain. And Rugs is at 99 speed as he almost tried to break that on me. And you're not catching rugs, and you're not gonna be able to man up rugs. So right here, he's running this. Look at, I mean, I'm just telling you, man. My dude does not really, fam. You're gonna do me like this? How am I not able to catch Randy Moss? Dude is just just took a kick back, uh, took a kick out, and he's tired. I don't even know. I'm just gonna run cover three cloud because this guy's just hitting a random button every time he's on offense. He's not even trying to make a read. He just says, oh, open player. And in reality, he's not. And that, I don't know how that's a touchdown. This dude is cheating me. We got to get out of this game quick. I can't lie to y'all. I'm low-key raging. Not high, not, not raging that much, but I'm low-key raging on the inside. Because I just hate playing these type of players. I absolutely hate it. Make a read. Do something. Don't just hit a button. And it sucks because the Raiders linebackers, um, Bowman's cool, but he no lurker. I don't have any lurker on him, so I'm not really even looking to get a pick. I'm just, just trying to make a tackle, and he's just somehow bouncing these little short passes into big gains. The defense definitely got to improve, but it's all good. He's running some random deep offense, and um, Bo is just going to ice this game pretty much for us. Hopefully, I'm hoping that was a second in inches as it is because I'll tell you why in a second. We're able to get this chew clock all the way down to the two-minute warning. And basically, for second and inches, it's so easy to pick up, especially this year. And it just wastes 30 seconds. So rather than having a first right there, I get a waste of 30 seconds to then get the first. He's going to have to call his timeout after this play. And like, look how easy. Like, this is so easy. I Even I could run and get this first down right here. And like he did kind of blow it up, but still, we are just able to get it. So whenever you're in a situation like this, if you can get in like a second and two, second and one, always fall down and just take up the extra 30 seconds. I mean, especially this year, like we all know how easy it is to run the ball. When you have someone like Bo knows Jackson, look, he just keeps falling forward. And my dude is just gonna finally use this timeout. Um, yeah, just just get put yourself in situations to win. Don't extend the game. If you extend the game, you're more bound to get cheated. Just the more plays there are, more likely are you to get cheated. And Bo is just getting out there. Bo is moving and grooving. I'm definitely going to cop a Bo Jackson jersey, though. I think it's over time. Dude is a Madden GOAT. I mean, he was so good in real life if he didn't get injured. But, yeah. I mean, a Bo knows Bo Jackson jersey. That's just, like, too much. That's too much drip right there. My man's try to go on aggressive blocking. Um, aggressive strip ball. We're going to take that face mask. We're going to kneel it out. GG's and knee knees. Uh... Well, my man's isn't quitting. He just paused for whatever reason. As my dude Nick Mazesco says, knee -knee, GG's and knee knees. Um, we're kneeling the ball out. We're going to knee, knee it. It should be game. There's not a better 
better formation in the game of Madden itself than the QB Neal formation. Don't tell me this guy is one of those. I hope you quit, bro. If you don't quit, you're just a sore loser. And GG's. Um, sorry I had to be your Super Bowl, my guy. That's the first episode, first edition, first game of the Raiders theme team series. A series I'm going to try to extend into Madden 21. If you like what you saw and have any recommendations or any you know uh, challenges to complete for Madden theme team series, uh, for the Raiders, I should say, Go ahead, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe too, please. We're growing like crazy. I want you guys to be a part of the journey. That's it, been it for this game, for this first episode. Catch you on the next episode. And let me see. I think I'm on a 30-game win streak. Let's just check real quick before we get off and sign off. Um, we're getting all these level-up rewards and all that. Okay, another level-up reward. Um, let's see. Head-to-head -head leaderboards. And there it is, the 30 game win streak. So we're on a 30 game win streak, believe it or not. And we're going to have to keep it up with either the, with this Raiders, the, Raiders theme team series and just in general, some head to head gameplay. So like I said, I'll catch you guys on the flip. Make sure to leave a like, sub and hit me up on all my socials. I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.